Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but today we are going to be trying out this gouache set that was sent to me by Art6. This video isn't sponsored, but they did send these out for me to try out, so that's what we're going to be doing. This set is so weird and different from the other gouache that I've tried because they come in these round metal tins. Usually gouache will come in tubes or in those jelly gouache things, which actually Artsex also has their own version of that. These paints are supposed to be their upgrade from their jelly gouache. So it's really cool. These tins have the pigment, the pigment names on them and they also have this clear window where you can see the actual paints that's inside and you can see the colors. And also speaking about the colors, the color selection is noteworthy. I think it's important, it's important to note that they don't have a lemon yellow in them. Instead of that, they have this warmer yellow, which I personally actually prefer. These colors just are what I would gravitate more towards too, but I do know that lemon yellow at least is essential to a lot of people's color palettes. And so you might want to keep that in mind when you're choosing which set you want to buy from them, because they also have this beautiful pastel colors set which has the lemon yellow and a lot of other gorgeous colors in that but today we are just going to be leaving that for another video i want to focus this one on their main basic set and we're just going to paint with them how i would normally use my gouache this is more like a, an initial impressions video if you do want to see a more detailed technical review of Sarah Burns has a great review on them and I will be leaving her video in the description. And today we are painting another scene from Crimson Peak, which I realized is actually the third one that I've painted, so hopefully this doesn't get tiring for you guys. But I just saw this on Pinterest and really wanted to paint it again. So I am going to be using just four colors, the red, the yellow, the blue, and the, the brown that they have in the set. Because my experience with gouache that are in a similar price range as this is that where they fall short is when you mix with them so usually they will gray out pretty easily and they just don't really the colors just don't really mix that well so my first impressions was that i was in i could immediately tell that they are not as finely ground as my holbein gouache or my Winsor newton gouache I just noticed that initially while I was diluting my paints with water and mixing it on my mixing palette. It does feel very, very similarly to my Mia gouache, just the texture of them. But one thing about that is that I didn't really notice it while I was painting. The colors was, were still very vibrant while I was painting with them and they kind of even with their, this much water added into them. So the very first time I tried professional quality wash, what really struck me was how similarly they felt to watercolors once I added so much water to them. With this, just the texture wise, I really felt that this was just diluted gouache and not just watercolors but as soon as i painted with them i was really surprised by how vibrant they were and how much color they have in them so while i was noticing the texture of it mixing it into my palette i you could really tell that this wasn't as finely ground as other gouache but while i was painting with them i didn't notice that and i was actually really impressed by how much color is in them These colors also mixed really well. I was especially, especially because I chose this photo that I knew were gonna have very complicated color mixes. So I knew just like the colors I used for her face, I know it's gonna be hard for me to get 
so it's gonna take a few tries for me to get the exact colors and tones that I want so usually when I'm using not so um, student quality gouache you could really tell by at this point because right around this time those colors would easily turn gray and just not as vibrant as they are anymore but this one I didn't notice that I really didn't notice the colors graying at any point in this whole painting so while I was using I it maybe could have something to do with my I've I've also painted so much more since I've tried my Mia gouaches but one thing that really frustrated me while I was painting with them was how easily those colors would desaturate each other and one way I could tell is how many times I would have to clean out my mixing palette while I was using my Mia gouache. One thing I remembered very clearly was how many times I had to go out, get up and wash my mixing palette because just, just to try and not get the colors to contaminate each other so often. But for this whole painting, I didn't really clean my mixing palette once because I didn't feel the need to. So I think that's really cool and something I didn't expect from this paint. One other big thing that I'm so excited to report is that these paints reactivated so well. So this may be, I think, very trivial now because I don't really notice a lot of people mentioning it, but I'm really peculiar about how gouache reactivates. Gouache in its most basic form will always reactivate, but I'm especially peculiar about how they feel and their texture once they're reactivated after they've dried in the palette. One example is the Talon squash, which I've only tried once and it wasn't really f I didn't really feel the need to try them again because they didn't reactivate in the same way that they felt when they were fresh out of the tube. So my Holbein so, and my Winsor & Newton gouache, once they dry, reactivates so beautifully. Those paints will feel very closely to how they felt once when they were fresh out of the tube. They may not be the same exact consistency, but they will always have this nice velvety texture to them. The Talon squash felt really plasticky when they dried and when I tried reactivating them, so I didn't. they didn't feel as smooth as they were when I first squeeze them out of, out of the tube. With this one, I'm really happy to report that they reactivated so beautifully and I just had to drop a few drops of water in my day old palette and they were ready to go. And I didn't really notice that they were a day old while I was painting. So I didn't really notice them even at all. So I didn't feel like I had to squeeze out more paint so I can get more of that velvety texture. I just took out more paint when I ran out of paint. So it was really great. I could just focus on getting the painting right instead of me noticing how the paint didn't feel as what I'm normally used to. So I do want to talk about this painting a little bit more too. My goals for this one was that what really struck me when I saw this photo was how the colors were so similar to each other that it almost felt like she was a part of her environment. It's so much so that even that butterfly that she was holding, I didn't notice that until 
I went and did the sketch for this painting. I don't really... I painted this movie so much but I don't really remember a lot of the storyline so I don't know what's up with her holding this, holding this butterfly but but the imagery in that movie are, is just so beautiful that when I saw this one pop up on Pinterest that I really just wanted to paint it. Yeah, the, the colors in this painting, in this whole photo, are just so similar to each other that I, when I painted this whole piece, I didn't really want anything to stand out too much. I didn't want her to stand out and I especially didn't want her face to take out too much of the attention away from the whole scene, which is not normal for me. <laughs> Usually I would prefer, I would always have the focus be on my subject's face but not on this one i think in the paint in the photo you could say that her the flower is one part of the painting whose colors would pop out a lot but for my my painting i didn't want it to do that and so i used the same color that i used to paint the flowers to some parts of her face and i even made her sleeves be a little more on the pink side so that the reddish tones in the flower doesn't stand out too much from the rest of the painting and when it came to the finishing touches or just the finishing details i think i added in very minor finishing details for this one i even glazed over her face because once it's dried the colors dried lighter than when i was painting it it's not a it's not something that's peculiar to this to these paints that's just something that happens with gouache but i just didn't really want her face to stand out too much from the rest of the painting too that i glazed over it with a very watery wash of paint and that's something that's very risky with gouache because the, because you could always reactivate the layers underneath and take out so much of that detail but i was so fixated in what i wanted this painting to look like that i wasn't even really that scared of that happening So even the details of her dress, I didn't really, I didn't really spend too much time making them look realistic. Even though there are a lot of details that I've painted in, I just chose colors that wouldn't stick out too much from the rest of the piece. And so unlike my other paintings, this painting actually left out so much of that initial underpainting. You can still see a lot of them in the final piece, but um, this time it's actually intentional. There were times while I was figuring out, while I was in this stage, that it felt like the painting was unfinished, but I don't know, I really kind of like the effect that I was going for, so I just really stuck with it. And I just kept the details very light towards the end. and I ended up really liking this piece even now that I'm doing my recording so so that is it for this one once again I'm so sorry for having this late of an upload but I just really wasn't feeling that well for a while hopefully after this one I will be able to go back to my regular uploading schedule thank you guys for watching until the end thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me but yeah I, I will be seeing you again soon